Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore one more category of solids that is pyramids. And we will see how isometric projection of pyramids and prism are different from each other. So let's begin with the problem. Draw the isometric projection of a hexagonal pyramid having base edge of 40 mm and excess 70 mm long resting on its base keeping two of its base edges perpendicular to the VP. As you can see, it's a hexagonal pyramid. It has a hexagonal base of size 40 mm and six identical triangular faces meeting at apex. Now, we know that in case of pyramids, the axis, axis is a line joining the center of the base to the apex and the same is always perpendicular to the base. Now here, the length of the axis or you can say the height of the pyramid is given to you, it is 70. Now coming to the other constraint, the solid is resting on its base. So the given solid, the pyramid, hexagonal pyramid is resting on its base on HP, keeping two of its base edges perpendicular to the VP. It means one and two two of its base sides, base edges or you can say opposite sides of its base both are perpendicular to VP. So this is the final uh, position in which the solid is resting on its base and it has two parallel, opposite parallel sides perpendicular to VP. So in this position we have to draw the isometric projection. Now for projection it is always better to start from the base. So here we will project this base first, we will project this base along horizontal plane over here, then we will mark the center of hexagonal base, center of hexagonal base and here all the generators are in inclined lines meeting at apex, also the length is not given to us. So what we have to do is, we will mark the center here and then we will draw the solid axis of this pyramid by drawing line parallel to third iso axis starting from the center and length will be 70 and hence we will get the apex point somewhere here in the last step we will join lines from apex from apex to each corner of the solid to each corner of the solid so this will be the process now let us start the construction work now for construction work we have to draw the helping figure of the base which is a hexagon inside a box so we will draw a hexagon again we are drawing isometric projection so we have to use isometric length only the base edge given base edge is 40 mm so we will take iso 40 iso 40 for the construction of helping figure and by taking iso 40 we will draw a regular hexagon. So the helping figure is a regular hexagon of size or you can say the length of the side is equals to ISO 40. Now in the next step we have to enclose this hexagon or hexagonal base or helping figure inside a rectangle by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to the first base edge. Here, this is my first base edge. So, drawing line parallel to first base edge and perpendicular to it, passing through all corners of the hexagon. So, we will get the helping figure, helping rectangle. Now, naming, say, corners of hexagon are A, B, C, D, E, N, F and four corners of the rectangle or rectangular box are, four corners are S, T, 
U and V. Now we have to project this rectangle ST to V here, keeping side AB, first base side AB, long second isometric axis. So we have to take SV along second isometric axis, and we have to mark ST, ST along first isoaxis. So the first point in origin or in the reference is S. Now we have to take SV, SV, this will be the distance, this is V, and ST, ST, this is the distance, and we'll draw lines parallel to first and second isoaxis from these two points. So we'll draw first line parallel to first isoaxis from the first end and similarly we have to draw the line from the second end parallel to second isoaxis. Here again we have to mark all six corners of the hexagon by taking distance from S, T, U and V. So first point is say B. This is the distance from S. This will be V. S to C. S to C. Then T to D. T to D. Again B to E. Along the line. B to E. Along the line. Then from U to E. U to E. This is correct. Next U to F u to f and v to a v to a so these are six corners of the hexagon next we have to find the center of the hexagon by joining opposite corners and the common intersection point common meeting point will be the center Now, we have to mark this center on the projected hexagon along horizontal plane here by taking proper distance from S and from T. And here from F to C. So this is the center. Now from the center, the axis is 70 mm long and parallel to third isoaxis. So parallel to third isoaxis, vertical axis, and from the center, we have to draw solid axis. And the length is 70 mm, so we have to take ISO 70 corresponding to 270. We have to take ISO 70 using isometric scale, and we have to mark this length. We have to mark this length here. So we'll get the apex. Now the last thing is from apex to each corner of the hexagon. These are dark visible lines 
where you can say outline of the solid and these are visible edges now for dimensioning we will draw extension lines parallel to the first isoaxis and dimensioning line parallel to the edge now for axis we will extend the center line and we will draw another line from the apex parallel to again first isoaxis and dimensioning line parallel to the solid axis last direction of observation or direction of viewing preferably from the center and parallel to the second isoaxis last color code orange color for hb dark one white for h medium work and all name it and for light work 2h now i request you to please draw this problem on your sheet thank you